using Windows CE. Is it even usable? Several people out there might not know what Windows CE is, but basically it is a compact system designed for tablets. Well, older PDAs, I guess. Since it was used as a mobile operating system during its heyday, let's see if we can use it as a desktop OS. I mean, it looks like one, so let's get into so it. You can see we are now into Windows CE here, and sorry about the lower frame rate. I'm recording off my iMac, which isn't the most powerful, so I'll edit it and make it look nice. So first of all, it looks very similar to Windows 98 and 95. And that's how it was stylized until actually it, it's still stylized like that. They didn't really change much about it. Like the taskbar you can see down here, pretty gray down here. It has the classic start button over here. So yeah, things were quite different. So I'm gonna pop into some applications here. So first of all, you can see from the My Computer icon right here, how it was kind of supposed to be designed. You can see it says my computer, obviously, and you can see it's kind of like a handheld device because it was obviously for handheld computers, although I'm running it on my iMac, so kind of makes it a little bit different. Um, is there a lineup icons? Yes, there is. I'm gonna pop into one of these things here real quick. And you can see how when I open the Explorer, you can see it opened full screen, and that's how it actually is supposed to be. Windows CE doesn't have windowed windows unless you're changing like control center settings. It's just, it depends on the smaller specific stuff. So let me close out this. You can see there's no minimize or maximize um, up here. Uh, it's just close and help. <laughs> Although there are a couple apps that don't actually go into full screen. I'm just gonna open the start menu really quick here and open help. And you can see this app over here isn't actually in full screen. And this one actually has a minimize button. Although you can see it's not, you can see it's not very optimized for it. You can see the minimize button kind of looks a little weird, but yeah, that's Windows CE for you. And you can see I can open up some help stuff. Things work just fine. So let me close out of this. So I'll open up the control center real quick. Come on, open up. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to open up Word because it was kind of more designed to open Word documents and stuff. And sorry if everything is small um, on the Windows CE stuff here. You're just going to have to watch it on a computer or something if you're watching it on a phone. If it's hard for you to see, I know that's difficult and I'm sorry about that. And you can see this is a test. Ooh, no oh dear. Um, test, and I can't spell it there. So you can see pocket word. I can adjust the font size if I want to. I can change the font. Oh dear, that's not a good one there. Tahoma. So you can see there are quite a bit of different fonts, although if you're gonna be writing stuff on here, like actually typing documents and stuff for school, then you do that on here, like this is my essay on why do dogs are cool. You can see that's how kind of Word would handle this kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna close this, no, I don't wanna save it. But yeah, it is a very compact operating system. It's actually kind of nice actually just to have something very, it's very small if you want to put it on like a flash drive and boot off of it, you could do that. So you can see quite a bit of things up here. Um, here are all the control centers, so I'm just gonna open up the system. I'm currently using Windows CE version three. I know it's gone super far forward, but this is the only one that would allow me to change my screen resolution so that you guys can you now enjoy a bigger resolution. I do have Windows CE 6 on a different virtual machine, but it doesn't have any applications installed and it crashes very often, so I don't use it. So here's the memory tab on here. And this is back where handhelds and stuff used ROM and RAM to store their programs, such as ROM was the Windows CE stuff. It was not on the hard drive. It was on a special little chip. And if you if your battery completely died, you lost all your programs and you lost all your settings. So Windows CE would just start over from scratch. You'd reboot when, let's say your battery completely died, you'd lose, oh, oh dear, I did not mean to move that slider over. So you'd lose a lot of your programs in fact, you lose all of them except for the defaults, and you lose all your, your files, and Windows CE would have to start over from scratch because it wasn't it wasn't installed. Like you can't install this using like a Windows installer. There's quite a bit of stuff I had to do. I just downloaded a virtual hard drive of this uh, Windows CE 3.0 installation, so that's how I got it working on here. Here's another setting I wanted to get into the stylus settings here. And again, this is meant for devices that are stylus oriented. You're not really supposed to, you can use a mouse. I'm using one, as you can see here. 
Oops, I need to close this. So that's why there's a button here to recalibrate. It doesn't know that there's, actually it does know that there's no thing on here. That's why you can see if I do this. Yeah, it instantly just closes the calibration wizard um, because there's no touch screen on here. I'm tapping the screen, obviously not doing anything. Yeah, that's if you want to get into that. Now, um, I wasn't actually get the set able to get the sound working if I try to play something here. It just gives me an error seeing the sound file completely played. Oh, there's something I also want to mention here, and I'm glad I opened this up is you can see it uh, kind of more like a oopsies it's kind of like a generic windows error message except the okay button isn't down anywhere here like it is normally it's up here in the status bar that's how it always was on windows ce it still is like that actually on the latest ce release which is 2013 it's still getting updated though by microsoft to this day so it's still there i don't have a sound device that works on here uh, it says your device may not support sound output i actually do have a sound card but it doesn't work so um I don't know why I still have that connected or even used, but yeah, so there's that. Again, uh, there actually was, I forgot to mention this, there was a way to back up your device. If your batteries went completely dead, then the backup battery would hold your data while your battery was like dead. And then once you got it charged up, then your backup battery would charge as well if it was a chargeable, compatible one. Mine said it was, although I don't think it was. I had a PDA back then when I was younger. That is pretty much it for Windows CE. Pretty basic. There actually are a couple of things left. I know there's Internet Explorer. It doesn't work though. Outlook is on here. You can actually remote a terminal as well. Um, I'll open Internet Explorer to show you how kind of funny the main page is. This is the default home page kind of thing. You can see how small it is here. That's because it was designed for screens that are probably about a sixth or a seventh of the size of this screen. You can even see some white space over here. Is because they put it this far out to kind of optimize the device and it goes all the way over here. <laughs> like that's how big my IMAX screen is, so that's nice. I have tried to go to different websites. Like if I try to go, go to Google here, it just gives you an error saying the internet site couldn't be found. So yeah, so there's that. Inbox, this actually does open. It doesn't work though. I don't have anything set up. You can see all the buttons are grayed out. Oh, well, I just look at it, but so yeah, I'm just going to open up a, a little bit of the hidden applications. You're not really supposed to be able to see these, but I'll just open them up anyways. So what was it going to be? First of all, here are all the pictures and stuff for all the icons. Normally you don't access these in just the main folder, but you can here. So you can see the fonts as well. It's kind of like Windows 2 a little bit, how it was managed. Not very well. Anyways, you can see here some of the hidden, oh, you can see some of the that's, oh, this is the utility that you use to connect your computer up to this, but it would be kind of ridiculous for this iMac to connect to an actual other computer for that to work. That'd be kind of stupid. So it kind of looks kind of silly here saying connecting to host and it's this giant iMac. Yeah, what was the other one? I was going to find, I can't find that. This is what it was right here. It actually kind of has a bit of a more look to Windows 95 and 98 and 2000 other things. You can see the buttons down here are Windows 95 and yeah, these Windows 9X buttons down here. The fonts are exactly the same as Windows 9X. It's kind of interesting. It's even Windows XP sort of. And so yeah, I don't know what that does. It just gave me a bunch of errors when I try to do something with it. And you can see all these Windows files. These are actually WAV files that the system just doesn't know what to do with. Yeah, several things just don't work on here. D DLL files don't work like if you try to open them well that doesn't it doesn't work on windows anyways before i go i actually have a document in here just for testing new text document and there's a shortcut to office stuff the office templates so that's supposed to be in there but um i'm just gonna copy this and close this out um i'll just paste it here pop it over there in fact i'll throw everything around the desktop since this runs under rom none of these settings that i've actually changed will actually be safe so if i restart this so you can see all the icons put it put themselves back the text document that i wrote is gone it's not in the documents folder either um you can see it just reset everything so any settings that you change won't be honored on here simply because it's running off of a rom or at least it thinks it is it's running off a hard disk but it doesn't know that so it just resets everything thank you guys so much for watching this video on um, well windows ce <laughs> if you like the content that you've seen here then hit the subscribe button and give it a like if you liked it so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you all later bye guys so just as a little announcement before I actually end this video, um, make sure to go vote on my um, well, on my main channel about if I should close my vlog channel because I'm not sure what to do with it and I've needed your guys' help. So 
yeah so go vote over there there'll be a link in the description there'll also be a link in the info card on the voting video so hopefully i'll see you there